Okay, so more of the same stuff here. As you can see, um, we got a steel hose ends going right into the copper stubs, which have been raised into the threaded fittings, both in both places, both on the inlet and the outlet. Again, steel threaded right into copper. This looks newer though. It's kind of funny. Um, this condensate drains right in. And look at this tight, this stupid clearance here. It's ridiculous to get to this unit. This is things in my way. Can't sit on this ledge because of that. And this condensate drains my way. So I'm going to put a, a pipe union, a copper union right here, and one over, over here, and get this piece out of my way when I need to get to it. Uh, control board is bad. Uh, contract contactor is looking funky too. Um, but the control board was bad for sure, and the fan motor was bad. So we've replaced the fan motor already, but uh, we're going to take the control board out of there and just throw a fan re relay and a, almost that on there. And we'll probably put those different. We'll put a circuit setter on here too. So there isn't one. Thirteen sinks everywhere. I know, but I don't like it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Everything you guys like. Uh -huh. I don't know, man. It's a pretty long video. I don't know if fools have the patience to sit through and just watch it. Uh, that's right. Well, right. that's why you uh, you edit stuff to make it make it watchable. Uh. Let the power to do this. Yeah, sure. The only the one that had the power to do this. <laughs> that's what they had you think it is. But uh, oh, you. Okay, we have our unit running again. Uh, yeah, all the all the controls off of there for now. We're icing up a little bit, but uh, uh, what we have there's my uh, heat pin relay to run the fan, the transformer, and the contactor back there. One oh, pin in the ass. Uh, but what's happened is we um, they hooked up these uh, water lines backwards, so uh, it's not not working too well inside. So uh, it could be low on charge too. But uh, 
we'll put our drain line back together and we're gonna call that a success for today. So Come in, dude. And Okay, we're finally done with this thing. We got our drain line back in. Our water lines crossed back in the correct direction. Fan spinning the right way, everything. Uh, we need to put a little more charge in it and uh, we need to fix these bullshit connections here. But then after that, that'll be for next time. We're going home now. So. Well, my friends, we're back at this unit tonight to uh, fix junction. I mean, these uh, water uh, connections here, these are steel hose-ins. Got some kind of plating on them, but they're still steel, and it's uh, causing some corrosion there. So whatever we have to do to change those out, have some new flex hoses. And we're gonna put a circuit center in there somehow. But first, I think we really have to get this light out of the way. I think it's about the only way it's gonna work. Copper green. Vent. Maybe. We're gonna have to clean the coil on this unit too. It's gonna be funky. But uh, it should run. We'll put a little more gas in it. It uh, I can't do it tonight, but we're bringing some service ports in. Uh, yeah, that's what we need to do. But it's, it'll run for now. More in a bit. Okay, my friends, we got our hose sets off of there. Uh, pain in the ass. Uh, these parts were threaded into the copper. You can see this electrolysis. Like, no good. Um. You might save those and use them somewhere else. You just gotta use dielectric union in between them or brass, something. Can't just screw them right in the copper. I went to unbraze one of the fittings that was up there. Um, and it actually, once I got the heat on it, this kind of dope melted or whatever. I guess it's kind of like a glue. That's pipe dope, but it unthreaded, so I saved myself a little work there. So we're gonna have to make some, some nipples and some other stuff to get the female ends here. So, we'll shove something up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 